Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Goku Dominion. I am back at my normal computer. No professional play. We'll call this Let's Play Goku Dominion. Yay! Okay. Alright. Remember, once again, my quest is to get into the top 50. That means I need to actually pay attention to these and not just do random stupid shit like I have been doing. Yeah, so we're going to do that. And let's see who pops in. Ugh! Hope you're all enjoying 2013 so far. It's a new year. Yes, indeed it is. It is new year. I just went to the gym and my muscles are kind of sore. Yes, they are. Okay, who are you? You are... Oh. <laughs> David Toledo Mateo. Well then, David Toledo Mateo. Might as well. Let's see what he can muster up. David Toledo Mateo. Good luck. Okay, we have Sca Squire, Scavenger, Council Room, Counterfeit, Duke, Hunting Party, Library, Market, Rabble, and Vault. Okay. Um. Let's see here. What kind of a plan do I want? Well, we've got Market and Squire for plus buy. We've got Hunting Party and Rabble for draw, but there's, we do have a Village and Squire. So I could make an engine alternating between Hunting Parties and Rabbles. Yeah, if I just do Squire, Hunting Party, and Rabble, maybe some counterfeits. Though Just those four cards. Those four cards. I think we got something. So let's open Squire. <coughs> and I think I may also get a scavenger and use it properly this time by actually discarding my deck. Okay, Squire. Two. Alright, for you, Squire, I think. We'll gain a silver. To save up for a. C I think. Okay. There are hunting parties, there are rabbles, there are counterfeits. I think the first thing I want is a counterfeit. So we can start trashing coppers. Then a rabble, then a hunting party, and then alternate between rabbles and hunting parties. I only need one counterfeit, I think. Okay, uh, I will discard the deck. I don't want those last two cards. And we'll put a squire on top. And counterfeit. We also have a plus buy and counterfeit. And this is an interesting hand here. Okay, I will play Squire Fraction. It's okay. I have no idea what he's doing. I should pay attention to what he's doing and not just pay attention to what I'm doing. I need to pay attention to both. Paying attention. That's a key right there to Dominion. He's putting something from his discard pile on top of this deck. Yes, indeed. So, did you like when I played that Mahler bit beforehand? Maybe I should just play classical music during these. You have seven. What are you going to get with your seven? Probably a gold. I'm guessing a gold. I'm going to guess a gold, because you're going to get a gold. A gold, a gold, a gold. Gold, a gold, a gold, a gold, a gold, a gold. A gold, a gold. A gold, a gold. Gold, a gold, a gold, a gold. Or a library. You, have you bought any squires? I don't know. I think you have, because I think I only have two. Just what's in my hand. Yep. Scavenger, we will discard the deck, because that... Yeah, that's a whole lot of nothing. Uh, we'll put the silver on top. We'll squire for... I think this is going to give me... That's seven. So I want the buys. Counterfeit the copper. Because CRC with 7, I can get a rabble and a squire. And the scavenger definitely helps with cycling. You know, it's kind of interesting how... <coughs> excuse me. Um, Dark Ages and Hinterlands both introduced a 4-cost version of a 3-cost card with one small difference that suddenly the card is so much better. Uh, in Hinterlands, we had Nomad Camp, which 
I don't know what it is about the card, but it's just it just seems so much better than Woodcutter. It's the same thing as Woodcutter. It just goes on top of your deck when you get it. So for some reason, that makes it so much better. I don't know why it just does. Well, because that's handy. It, it allows you to do the opening with Nomad Camp and Two Fool's Golds. That's an awesome opening. Um, I don't know. And with Scavenger, it, you can't really think of Scavenger as a better Chancellor. Because the point of Chancellor is the discarding of your deck. The point of Scavenger is getting something out of your discard pile. But in order to make that worth anything, it has to have the deck discard in there as well. And here I want there I have all good stuff in there, but there will be all good stuff in there anyway, so let's discard. And let's put the rabble on top. There should be squires thrown in there as well. Seven again, I will get my first hunting party. I really need to counterfeit away these coppers. There we go, lining up. He's librarying. Okay. Seems to be going my way. Yeah. He has not responded to my good luck. I have no idea how much Dominion this person has played. But I'm going to keep playing my strategy as if he is just awesome at Dominion. I'm going to do this as quickly as I can. Build up a quick little engine and then just start buying provinces. And we're going to do plus two actions for you so we can play the rabble. Oh, I should turn off the chat window. I've gotten complaints from that. Uh, you, Squire, will give me... Buys, counterfeit copper, the treasure, okay. Think here, hunting party, it's time for another rabble. I could do scavenger squire. And I think that's what I'm going to do to make sure I don't run out of coin in my deck. Then we'll get a rabble. Okay, yeah, this turn we'll get a rabble and probably... Hmm, no, just a rabble. <coughs> because I need this for the actions. Oh, no, let, let's see here. It doesn't really matter. Playing the squire would give me seven. With the scavenger. I kind of want to... Do I want to use the scavenger this turn? Because without the scavenger, that's just five. So it, it doesn't really matter anyway. Um, I'll just play the scavenger. Discard the deck. And I want... The hunting party on top. Play the treasures and get another rabble. Okay, we definitely need the hunting party. Hopefully, that will bring up a squire so we can play the rabble. I need more uh, squires at this point. Let's see what David Toledo Mateo does. David Toledo Mateo. He is probably logged in with Facebook or Google Plus or something. Which probably is not the best thing to do. I mean, I am also logged in, but I changed my username. So, you don't know what my real name is. Although, if you did like a quick Google search, you would probably very quickly find it out anyway. But, whatever. I really... Like, people keep talking about, Oh, I don't want my privacy infringed. Where? But, I don't know. Um... It's never really been that big of a deal to me. Uh, yeah, let's just go to the deck. This time... Squire, Squire, Rabble. Let's put the Rabble on top. Uh, yeah, with two Scavengers I can put a Squire and a Rabble on top, which would be better. I'll counterfeit the Copper. Play Treasures, I have two buys. Oh, from the counterfeit I have two buys. And let's get... Two hunting parties. Oh, I only, okay, never mind. I, I only had eight coins. So, hunting party and a squire. Okay, that works. Alright, so actions rabble. Alrighty. He's vaulting. And I think I will ignore his vault thing. Because there, there aren't two cards I want to discard. Ah, I'm not really going... I mean, there is Duke here. There is Duke here, and I'm he's going to go for Dukes. But he yet, you haven't bought any Dukies yet. What's wrong with you? Uh, but I, I can't really let him get away with that, though. I need to... Hmm. Let's see here. 
Let's do hunting party now. Let's see what it comes up with. Silver. Okay. Do two actions and the rabble. Okay. We'll do actions by scavenger discard the deck. And I want the hunting party on top. Counterfeit a copper. I have lots of buys. I have 12. So we're going to get a province and two squires. I, it may be possible to three pile here. Definitely the squire is going to empty out. <coughs> um, what else could be three piled? Right now, he has a victory card that's worth nothing. Um, if he really starts, like, if he buys a dookie, I will go for dukes as well. But for now, I'm just going to ignore them. For now. Okay, he's following my lead into provinces. Alright. Uh, play the squire for the actions. Then the hunting party. I... Yeah, I only have two rabbles. Oh, crap. Rabble. Actions for you. Rabble. Okay. He's deciding... Okay, Goko really needs to... It doesn't matter which estate you put on top of your deck first. It really doesn't. Squire. Plus two actions. Scavenger. <laughs> I have yet to play two scavengers in a turn. I'm just gonna discard the deck. Um, put a squire on top and counterfeit the copper. Play all treasures. Okay, we have twelve again, but only two buys this time. So I think I should get some. No, markets would be a distraction here. Need to stick to these. Um, so we're going to get province and a squire. Yeah, because market would just give hunting party one more thing to snag on. Um, although market would give me more coin, we're definitely going to do this with the vaults. So I'd rather have you. Although hunting party that I, uh, that might not might not have been the smartest idea because then I would have known I would not be drawing the state and province. What he he bought a hunting party it looks like hunting party and yeah that was dumb. Okay, two actions, rapple. Uh, two actions, two buys, counterfeit a copper. The treasures and the problems. Turn my turn. <coughs> There's my scavenger. I'll squire, play the scavenger, then do the hunting party, which will probably find the other scavenger. And I can finally do Oh no. Ah. Oh, that's that's aggravating. Well, let's do the hunting party. Okay, squire plus two actions, rabble. <laughs> uh, plus two actions. I think plus two actions here. Plus two buys, scavenger, hunting party on top, treasures. Hunting party and squire. Alrighty. Squires are empty. No need to focus on just picking up provinces. I think I need to start using squires to pick up silvers. Five. Smart thing would be to ch okay. You you need dukies to make the dukes worth anything.
That was delightful. Ah, uh, plus two actions, rabble. Hunting party. A lot of squires in my deck. Uh, let's play the squire first. That that made so much difference. Gain a silver. Scavenger. Discard deck. Putting... Oh, there are no hunting parties in there. Okay, let's put a squire on top. Counterfeit the copper. Play treasures. Um... He's just buying dukes. I think I'll just go for provinces and try to buy a province every turn. I think I'm ahead of him. But here we're going to buy... Uh... He'll probably have enough to buy a province here. If he has a silver in his hand, he has enough to buy a province. Yep. He'll buy a province. Plus two actions. Plus two actions. Gain a silver. Scavenger. I'm not going to discard the deck. I will put the silver on top and get a dukey. Which is going to be worth a lot more than his dukes will be. Every time I hit five, okay, four times if I hit five, I'll get a dookie. Fifth time, um, okay, this would give me one, four, two, not enough. He bought a province. Okay, and that won me the game because his dukes were worth absolutely nothing. Good game. All right. I wow, well, I feel out of it somewhat. But yeah. That was interesting. My single dookie won me the game. It'll do that sometimes. Thank you, David Dalido Mateo. Let's see where I am. I'm at 73 because I was bumped up. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh come back next